Hi, I'm Kim Silva. I'm here today to talk to you guys about matter. Where in the world is matter? Matter is everywhere. Every item is made up of molecules and atoms. And something you might not know, the atoms and the molecules are always moving. Even in what we call a solid, you know, like this chair I'm sitting in. A solid is something that doesn't change shape. It always stays the shape and it can hold something else. So a glass would be a solid. So I bet you're thinking, well, how could the molecules be moving if it is a solid? Well, they are. If I shrink myself down to minuscule where you couldn't even see me and I could climb into the chair or I could climb into the liquid, I would actually see little tiny molecules just packed in there really, really tight, all wiggling and jiggling and, and trying to move around. But because it can't move very far, they stay in this solid state, thus making a solid. And that's one of the types of matter we're going to be looking at this week. Another type happens when something like a solid, um, the, the, the molecules and atoms start changing a little and they're, they're able to move a little bit more. Um, what, ha what could happen is, let's say we have an ice cube and the sun comes out or you light a candle under it, but some heat gets into the, the icy cold. And those molecules, which have been pretty solid, they start getting kind of frantic and upset and want to get away from that heat and they start moving and wiggling so fast that it kind of breaks them apart. And so they aren't as close to each other. What happens then? Things start melting and it becomes a liquid. A liquid is the second form of matter that we're going to learn about this week. And the third form is called a gas. Now here's something that might be kind of interesting to you. Gas is everywhere. It's the air we breathe. It's carbon dioxide out of the cars, you know, that black smoke that comes out. It's condensation. It's uh, when you take that same ice cube and you melt it all the way down, but you keep the flame on it and it starts bubbling and boiling and you see steam that's the liquid becoming a gas. At that point, the liquid evaporates back up into the sky to get ready for a rainy day to come down in liquid so that we can freeze it back into an ice cube. These are called state changes. That's what we're gonna be making our movies about this week. It's gonna be fun. You're going to learn to use technology. You're also gonna learn about science, about how things can go from a solid to a liquid, a liquid to a gas, a gas to a solid. It's never ending because matter is everywhere. It's in everything we breathe, see, do. Okay, you getting ready to learn? I have a story to share with you and then we're going to start on our own journey towards showing what we know about matter through making your own movies. Okay, bye-bye.